Hi right, folks, welcome to the early bird. We're gonna take a look at yesterday's game as the champs hang on and they hang on tough. Let's take a look at it coming up. All right guys, let me jump on this and we will discuss Tampa Bay's dramatic win yesterday because I was about to just go to sleep if the Rangers won this game too. I want, I want to see a series happen here, you know? So let's get into it. Tampa Bay 3, the Rangers 2. Tampa Bay comes through like champions in this one. They really did. They were down 2-0 in this game and they scored in the last minute to win it. And they were the better team. They were absolutely the better team in this game. Their killer instinct was there. Vasilevsky was there. Everything was there. But so was Shesterkin there. We'll talk about that in a sec. Okay, let's look at the game summary. Palat's late goal completes lightning rally against Rangers in game three. And look at these numbers. Rangers had 30 shots, the lightning had 51. Pretty even on the face-offs, 51, 49% edge for the Rangers there. Rangers two for five on the power play, but the Lightning were also two for four. 37 hits for the Rangers, 38 for the Lightning, good hitting affair. Blocks, 18 for the Rangers, nine for the Lightning. Rangers only did four giveaways in this game. Funny, when they give away the puck more, they seem to play better, it's weird. And the Lightning had six giveaways. Shots on goal, first period, 12 for the Rangers, 15 for Tampa. The Rangers were fighting hard, folks. You've seen it. They were fighting hard. Second period, the Lightning had the edge again, 17 to 12 in that one. But in the third period, the champions finally take a stand and say not on our home ice, out shooting them 19 to 6, scoring in the last minute. And as you see, the total shots in the game, 51 30 in favor of Tampa. So let me just check something here so I can run that down one last time because I don't have the exact time of it. Um, yeah, Stamco scored early in the third though at 122, which I should mention also. They were down two to one going into this third. And you know what happened? I fell asleep in this game. Can you believe that? I fell asleep. So I just rewatched where I fell asleep from. I found it right away. Well, I fell asleep for like 20 minutes, so I was backtracking the game as I was watching it because I didn't want to know the final score. And yeah, Tampa Bay uh, come through in the end. Scored two goals in the third, and but the last minute one's the big one, of course. And I think right now Tampa Bay is back in the series, of course, right? But I don't think the Rangers are just going to go away early. <laughs> Easily, I should say. They're not going to say, okay, we'll just settle for 2-2 two -two and we'll go back home. No, no, the Rangers are going to try everything, everything to win next game. Absolutely, they're going to throw the kitchen sink at, at, you can bet on it. That they're going to try everything to beat this Tampa team and get a split and go home. Because if they can get a split still, that's all, that's all the Rangers care. That's all they care. Tampa, of course, are going to try to even this up. I'm wondering, okay, is it possible that Tampa wins a one-sided game next game. This is what's been going on in my head since they just hung on because Tampa Bay folks were close to elimination again. They were yesterday. I know they weren't going to be eliminated if they lost, but they were close to elimination again. And they can't keep doing this to themselves. If they get into if they happen to make the finals and come back in this series, get back and come back, uh, they can't do this with a team like Colorado. Or Edmonton. I'm not writing off Edmonton yet. I'm not one to write off teams just because they're down in a series. I've seen too many strange things over my years. No, no, no. We'll see if the Oilers get back into this game tonight. If they win and stay alive, then things look a little less bleak at least. There's another game. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. That's a big task in itself, that one. Yeah, I think uh, if I'm going to break it right down, I think they will... They, they had the will of a champion yesterday to not surrender their title. That's what it was yesterday. It wasn't like the Rangers didn't play good enough because they did till the third period. They played good enough, the Rangers. 
But they, I think maybe that young team got a little intimidated who they were playing and the situation. Let's face it, guys, that's intimidating. You're up two games to nothing. You're up two to one. You know if you hang on this period, you're most likely going to the finals this year. And to have that slip away, what kind of effect will that have on that young squad now? That's what I want to see. I want to see how the Rangers react to this because the odds are very good that Tampa can come out storming next game, looking much more mature, much more strong. I just think that's what can happen. Now, the Rangers will have nothing to do with that right now, if you tell them, but they might grip the sticks a little tighter. They might look a little slower, a little more intimidated, a little more scared, a few more mistakes. All these things can happen going into next game. But if the Rangers come out with their A game again, my goodness, I'll tell you this, Gerard Gallant is one incredible coach because this team has to bounce back. Forget physically, it's emotionally. They got to bounce back emotionally into next game. They got to come into this game now, the Rangers, and just bury what just happened and move on and say, you know what? It wasn't in the cards. We just got to get one anyway, and next one's it. And if they can try to have that, it's not going to be easy. Those are the type of games I always say, guys, it's way harder to bounce back from. For the Rangers, it would have been much better off losing like 6 nothing, Because then it's easy to bounce back from. There's no stress. But the way they let this one slip away out of their fingers hurts for sure. But let's keep in mind who they're playing. Let's keep in mind the scenario. They're up two games to one. The Rangers are, have had a great run in this playoffs no matter what happens. So everything now is just icing on the cake for these guys. That's it. I'm out of here, guys. I got to go. I got to walk Rosie, and I got to get going about my day. I shall see you tonight. Have a good one till then.